mm-hmm. you know that's the baddest man on the fucking planet right there not exactly because you're taking his only punching but <laughs> it's kind of for me on fury i've been watching the netflix documentary he does seem incredibly mentally ill sometimes um but then again he's never he's never shown away from it has he he's he's always shown up and he's always delivered i'm gonna buy if i can buy the pay-per-view i'll buy the pay-per-view but if it's in india you don't need to buy the pay-per-view <laughs> I mean, I love it. Whoever, I'm trying to think if any champion's ever been released while being a champion. I don't, I don't think so. Not from the UFC. You know, so just on that, you have to applaud your head. Just because you took the gamble, right? Without knowing, like, hey, am I going to get any money? I don't know. Then not only is he guaranteeing himself money with the PFL, but he's also going to get this boxing money. People I listen to that know more about fighting than me say Tyson should win, but Francis does have crazy power. And with the four ounce gloves, that might be a bit of an issue for Tyson, but he should win. But again, I'm just going off of what I hear people say. Francis has has a chance. The the thing is, is 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 all on Fury. Is Fury going to train like this is a proper fight or is he just going to think that it's easy money and then he'll go in there and suddenly Francis who's been training like it's the most big opportunity of his life can grab him and and hurt him well I mean you know he's got to think about accumulation you know it's not as easy as landing one clean punch against someone that can take a shot from Deontay Wilder and sit up like the Undertaker like he, he has to do something a bit smarter than that and of course he has terrifying power but he can't assume that that's going to be enough to win him the fight he has to be quite strategic about how he lands it. I mean, I know he's going to be working with with Mike Tyson, which I think is smart, but I hope it's a lot of work and I hope it's good quality work. I mean, that's easy money for Tyson Fury. Um, I don't see a world in which Francis Ngannou lands a big punch um, on Tyson. Well, I mean, he'll land big punches, but not a knockout punch. Tyson Fury can can definitely take them. I mean, it, I mean isn't Deontay Wilder or Francis Ngannou like isn't Deontay Wilder like a step above Ngannou probably and like oh wait by the way Wilder's actually a boxer and Ngannou isn't so I'm like this, you're, this is Tyson Fury versus a knockoff Deontay Wilder and Fury's beaten Wilder convincingly a couple of times so yeah I mean I think that's his avenue for sure is getting getting a Francis has got power like nobody has power um Tyson's a big guy. He's, he's a strategic guy. He's hard to hit. But if you can get to him in the first two rounds, maybe maybe three. But, I mean, Francis is going to get tired quickly. You know, throwing throw and, and not being used to the situation against a guy like him, it's like you can't expect Francis to have a big gas tank. You know, as much as I love Francis, this is going to be a tough fight. He's going to have to do something to get a clean shot. And, and it's not going to be as easy as just wading his way in there through the jab and trying to land something it's got to be a a more strategic approach to that otherwise he's going to be way way out of his depth which is what anybody with a logical boxing mind is going to be able to see put eight put eight on gloves on and let's see how much more interesting this kid gets that that would be something special Mm -hmm. you know that's the baddest man on the planet right there not exactly because you're taking the only punching but but at least you're leveling the odds a little more 12 ounce gloves it doesn't really do the thing justice for sure. It's it's kind of for me on Fury. I've been watching the Netflix documentary. He does seem incredibly mentally ill sometimes, um, but then again, he's never he's never shown away from it, has he? He's he's always shown up and he's always delivered. So, no, I don't give Francis any real chance. I think he'll walk out the ring happy either way. Um, but I think if Fury just basically didn't train a day, you never know, right? That's heavyweights. Ah, oh, it's it's heavyweight. I mean, anybody can have have the chance, but yeah, it's it would be very difficult. Uh, Tyson Fury is, I think, is one of the best heavyweight in the world. Um, like, so I I don't think uh, Francis and Gano will, will 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 win this fight, but since it's heavyweight, it's one point thing. You, you can he have the chance. The greatest playbook right now. Currently done in MMA, I can say he's about to make the biggest money ever. Win or lose or draw, whatever happens, he's gonna make serious, serious money. 